Hello to all the beta template users. February is gonna bring us a new major update on the app, which is 3.0. And I will show you everything and all the new cool features that it has. Let's start with the icon. So it used to be white, it's gonna be changed to black. Let's tap on it and see what's inside. The first thing you'll notice is the implementation of the left sidebar right here. You can activate it using this icon. So you'll start with having your gallery here where you can see all your projects and then hundreds of templates that Breda Template is famous for, starting with puzzle loop buddies, garments, shoes, and you can also navigate using these little icons between the types. And then you have tutorials, um, just like before, you do have a mood blog with uh, news from Breda Template and Breda Makeup apps, and then you have your settings. Let's check out the gallery. So it's changed because it has the ability to stack your projects into the groups and you can create um, the groups on this um, upper section. So let's try and create one group using some kids garments. I'm gonna tap and hold on the projects and drag it here on top. You can see the green plus appeared. And I will take a couple more and do the same on top of the same group. Go back to default folder press and hold, drag, and this way I will create a new group with all the kids' um, garments. Let's see, all right, so this is it. And I will make one more group with shoes. So I will organize my project this way. Let's tap and hold on the group to rename it. Submit. And let's tap on this group, which has my kids' items, and I will tap and hold to rename this. I'll name it kids. Submit. So the default folder just has all the projects that don't belong to any group. It's kind of like the default group. And um, yeah, so the rest of the projects are here. One more thing is this plus. The plus is a quick start menu which wasn't there before and it's a very interesting feature because if you keep on working on the same template, you can always find it here in the latest. Let's say you're working on a collection of shoes and you keep on opening this template, it's just much more easier to find it this way. You have puzzle loop, bodies, garments, shoes, just a quick access to the uh, most common templates. And then you have the inspiration section when you can, where you can find a lot of projects that are already done uh, by the Predator template group and the collaborators. You can open them and actually start um, using them for your own need if you want, or just use it as your inspiration, just to see how they're done. It's also uh, a new feature. So that's that. And we can try and take a look at the new canvas. So let's open one of these projects. I'll go for this one. By the way, you can find it in the inspiration, this finished illustration. And yeah, so we have a little bit of a new layout because all the tools from the bottom have been shifted to the left bar. And again, I will show you all the different tools. And for that purpose, I'll create the new layer, which I'll talk about later. But let's just check out the tools. So if you click on the first icon, you'll see the range of all the tools that we used to have. A pencil, pen, markers, brushes, and all the things. It's pretty much the same. The second button have the presets for the line of different types. Uh, you have the stitching, hatching, dots, and all that. And the third one is going to be a navigation between the sides of the tool. So anytime you select the tool, let's say I want a pen and I want to draw with it, then I will go to this button and I can change the size of the pen from small to bigger. Or let's say I want this marker, I will begin with a small one and then I will go to big one. So it just works for all the tools. Then you have the patterns menu is the next button. If you press on it, you see this is the family of the patterns which I've already selected. If you tap and hold on one pattern, you will see a larger um, preview of this pattern. If you press on the plus, you'll see the entire library here. 
let's say I want to select this family it's automatically loaded here and then again you can preview each by tapping on it and holding all right so the next button is um, palettes so these are standard palettes for face lips and eyes that we used to have in the previous version uh, this toggle is to change the um, value of the color make it lighter or make it darker and there's one more cool thing that you can do with it but i'll show you in a minute you will um you can basically make a custom palette using an image so i will pull my gallery from the bottom tap and hold pull it to the side and i opened my gallery with images so let's say i pressed on the um, palette any of those and i have a picture that i want to use as a source for my custom palette I'll just take, um, for instance, this picture and I'll drag it on top of this palette or before I see this uh, plus on the green circle and just drop it there. And automatically all the colors from that pictures are loaded here. This is a really cool thing. So the next thing is this tool. I'll just hide it for now. Is uh, this uh, custom color tool so you can again use slider spectrum and grid to find the colors that you want you have a color picker as before to pick the color that you need and it's a color fill tool a color fill tool is a new feature so let's say i am picking this blue color important thing you have to stay on the layer which have the contents of uh what you want to change let's say i want to change this red dress to blue so i'm gonna have to stay on the layer with the red dress I tap and hold this until it starts moving. You can see this blue dot with me and I'll drop it on this red dress. And voila, I have a new color of the dress and I can do it as many times as I want. Say I want a new color. I'll pick it and drop it and have another option in an instance. This is a really cool feature. We didn't have it in the previous version. All right, so next thing is an eraser. I have to switch to another layer um, and erase the mess that I've done before. So now we have only one eraser because in the previous version we had different ones for different layers and one which worked for all the layers. Now we just have one tool and we have all the other tools that we had before, which is a smudge tool, the camera tool, scissors and pin. They work just like before in the previous version. So one more thing to show you is this icon right here opens the opacity sliders for the template. It works pretty much the same, just a little um, different design, minimalistic. And the layers menu is new and you can just add them with this plus, delete them using this icon with this little bin and uh, you can copy them uh, using the copy uh, these two squares and hide them using the eye. So for example, um, if I have these two layers, I can hide the one with the outline. And now you see only the colored part. So this is great because you can manipulate the contents of each layer separately. And if you want to take this layer up you just take it and um, just drag it up one more thing that i want to show with the pictures i'm gonna have to split screen split screen again is that you can drag the pictures to a canvas to make a pin so for example i'll just take this picture i'll hold it and just drag it and you see this green plus just drag it on an empty space drop it and you can have a pin with this picture. You can have a pin with multiple pictures at the same time. If you want to pin to one place all the fabrics that you will use, for example. So I'll take this one, I'll drag it, and then with another hand, I'll just simply tap on the other ones. You can see they are added all to the same pin and just drop it here. And there, there you have it. You can see all the pictures I've dropped. They're all here on the same pin. 
One more thing that you can do with images is to add it as a layer. So if I take, um, let's say I take this image, I tap and hold it, and I drop it in the um, layers area, you see again the green plus appeared. So I created a layer with this picture. If I want to resize it, I will take the scissors, select the area which I need, tap on the new layer, and then I can resize it. And I can hide this layer as well. And press apply. Then I will take the outline on top so that I can see it really well. Uh, go back to this layer with this new image and basically erase everything outside of the contour. which is a really cool way to use, um, incorporate the picture to the um, project. One more thing that you can do is um, share the same layers between different projects. So I will open one more app and just open another project. So if I want to take, for instance, this layer, I'll just hold it and drag it here and it will appear to um, the copied version of it will appear here it's pretty cool because you don't have to um, draw the same thing you can just share the contents of layers between different projects the undo and redo buttons are still here just like previous version and I think that this has been it it's just a quick review of the main features you can as well copy, share, find similar or delete the project just like you did before, uh, just tapping and holding on the project. This was it, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel.